now it is the best day ever, right? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What are you getting to do tomorrow? Going to Disney World. <laughs> uh, Alright, for the record, for the record, did you know it was coming? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is 4.30 in the morning in Philadelphia. And welcome to the Carousel of Douglas. As you can see, Michelle was very surprised, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> we are about to try to go from Philadelphia to Orlando and back to Philadelphia in one day in order to go to Epcot, to Walt Disney World. And we're going to see if we can do it as a surprise to Michelle for her birthday. You ready to come along with us? Are you excited? Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's see if we can do this. When we drive to the airport, we drive with the right soundtrack. So we're on the plane. Uh, it's almost, it's on time. We're leaving 6.15 in the morning. We're supposed to land in Orlando at 8.30. Um, so far, so good. Especially when you're leaving Philadelphia on time, right? <laughs> All right, next stop, MCO. <laughs> no, not yet. We'll be there soon. No, not now. <laughs> Welcome. We are at Hollywood Studios, but we actually don't mean to be at Hollywood Studios. We did this on purpose because we're here early because of the way our flights came in. We're traveling by uh, Skyliner over to Epcot, and uh, that's where we're heading today. So let's go on the Skyliner. The entrance here for the Skyliner. It is uh, uh, right by the main gates. Uh, the temperature check, temperature check is right over there. And then we go in through here to the Skyliner. And uh, I'll be back with you once we get on our, uh, once we get on our gondola. Hi folks, where are you headed today? Right, we're heading to Epcot. All right, this way. Thank you for your time, Mike. You betcha, enjoy your day. Michelle's uh, Disney birthday bash. She's got her uh, aerial ears on, and uh, we we're kind of silly. Oh yes, matching she has the nails. matching matching fingernails, and uh, we actually are uh, we are actually matching. So uh, we're being all cute and stuff. They open the lineup at about uh, ten of ten. They said ten o'clock. So uh, we're getting in line to go to Epcot on the Skyliner. Oh, here you go, guys. Watch your step. Thanks, Brian. You Appreciate your time today. You too. And we're on and heading to Epcot. Hello, Reflection. Uh, all I gotta say is that that sight in the distance is one of my favorite things. All right, we're coming into the International Gateway Station and uh, we're looking forward to it. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I cannot believe that we're doing this. I just said to Michelle, um, I, I'm the one who planned all this trip for her birthday, and I can't we believe I'm doing it. arriving at Epcot. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. We are through and in the park for Michelle's birthday. Yay. <laughs> We're, we came in through the International Gateway. That's back here. And uh, we are now heading to, where are we going? Frozen. Frozen. We're gonna go to Frozen. We'll check in with you when we get there. We have made our way to Norway from the International Gateway. We went by uh, going clockwise. Um, the Frozen line is not even out the building yet. And uh, that's where we're headed. So, thank you for being here. So, um, I think Frozen <laughs> is going to be a walk-on. And that's amazing. It says 20 minutes. Let's see what it does. Good morning, James. How are we doing? Thank you. You're walking on Frozen. No fast passes required. Elsa wants to give us all some fun. She's making everyone a snowy summer day. Awesome. I love that ride. Front row seats for your very first ride. See, they knew it was your birthday. <laughs> One little spark of inspiration is at the heart of all creation. All right, we're in the Land Pavilion, one of my favorites. Just a gorgeous pavilion, well designed, just very inviting. You have the Sunshine Seasons down there restaurant. Um, you have Sorn and you have Living with the Land, and one of my favorite restaurants on property, the Garden Grill. It slowly rotates and has one of the best character interactions ever because Chip and Dale are here. We're doing our going for our second ride today. We're trying to get on Sorn and then probably Living with the Land. Is that okay? We do Living with the Land on your birthday? Yep. Okay. So we're heading over to Soren. All right, we're getting in line for Soren. Thank you. Time says 20 minutes. We'll do a time check and we'll let you know. And for those of you who noticed, I am uh, totally rocking my Mickey fedora today. Uh, Hello, welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief light attendant today. So we just got off living with the land. The line time was five minutes. Um, we literally walked right on. As soon as we get off the ride, the line has jumped to 35 and it looks it. So that's a little tip is just get in line if it's low and you'll be able to get on it. Uh, Michelle and I are gonna go and get a, uh, we're gonna go get a bite to eat. But before we do that, I wanna tell you about Soren. Uh, if you get on Soren and uh, you are uh, given row C3, um, you're gonna have a very, uh, you're, you're gonna have a very uh, difficult time enjoying the ride as much as normal because uh, C3 is pretty much puts you on the edge and you get all the curves. And I'll show you what I mean right here. Yeah, it looks like that, um, which isn't all that fun, but it's still, you know, it's still a cool ride. Regardless, I love the smells, I love the whole thing. But uh, just a little tip, if you're ending up on C3, don't expect to have like this uh, crazy, amazing experience on Sorin. Uh, we're, we're gonna go and get some food, and uh, so far so good, because we seem to be uh, beating the lines to things. We got on, uh, Sorin took us less than 20 minutes, even though it said 20 minutes, it's probably like 15. And then uh, we walked on living with the land, and now we're gonna go get some food. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh, you got it. All right, we are making our way up into the uh, World Festival show place. And uh, there are some food booths in here that we're gonna check out, see if we can get some food from it. Uh, for the Food and Wine Festival, we found that some of the best food was in here, so we're hoping to have that same thing happen again. Check with you when we get inside. 
So I want to give you a little information um, that I just learned recently. I was talking to the cast members with the uh, yellow shirts. They're called the uh, they're called uh, Incredit Crew. Incredit Crew. That's a really cool name for a cast member. Incredit Crew's job is to do um, mass compliance. And I asked them because the new policy is starting up now. And that policy is that if you step off to the side to take a selfie, you can do it with your mask down as long as you're not near any people. And the photo pass people are going to be able to take your picture without your mask on. And uh, that's a big change in policy here at Disney. And uh, I've already seen people taking pictures and selfies. Michelle's done it. Um, it helps you feel a little bit more normal as you're here. And this policy has only been in effect for two days. And the, the, and the, Incredi the Incredi crew told me all that information. He said that that's how it works. So uh, you have to be off to the side, uh, just like who you are when you're stationary and eating. And then you can put your mask down, take a picture, and then you put it right back up. All right, so that's the new policy, and it's pretty awesome. All right, we decided to try some of the food from the festival favorites. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. Thanks, you too. So we had the beef brisket with burnt ends with pork belly slider. It has a cheddar on it and a really nice barbecue sauce. Um, it was phenomenal. Uh, I loved it. I, I it was I, the first words out of my mouth was that's this is incredible. So that's also good. I also really enjoyed the fried green tomato dish. Um, the fried green tomatoes were well uh, were well breaded and fried, and uh, it was um, in a, in a great remoulade sauce, and it was just really really good. I enjoyed the whole thing. The slider had a pickle on top and a little piece of chorizo sausage as well, and that was excellent. Yeah, that whole whole thing was great. Some really, really awesome topiaries here in Japan. Stopping here in Magnolia Terrace, the American Pavilion. The menu looks really, really good. And we'll uh, check it out. So a uh, little quick thing. Um, I got the Boudin two ways, the orange coriander beer from 81st Brewing, and uh, the pecan cake. Michelle also got the pecan cake, but uh, she got the uh, Bayou cocktail, and that is a birthday present from Todd, working the Magnolia Terrace booth. Very nice guy. He gave Michelle a little birthday Spike the Bee Sport. Thanks a lot, Todd. Uh, so Michelle and I are about to watch The Voices of Liberty. If you haven't watched The Voices of Liberty, um, you have made a grave mistake. Voices of Liberty are some of the best performers on property. And uh, highly recommend their show. Uh, we're gonna watch that coming up next. Um, we just had the maple whipped cream praline cake. And I had the Boudin two ways. The Boudin two ways was excellent. Um, I enjoyed the sausage, it was nice and spicy, and the praline cake was incredible. I also liked the orange coriander beer. Uh, that was excellent as well. Um, uh, good notes on that, uh, and it was not too, it was nice, uh, um, refreshing beer on this day. It's a little bit hot today, and for us anyway, because we're literally just shoving ourselves down here from Philadelphia, and so far this whirlwind trip has been great. Um, I'll keep you abreast, but we're gonna watch the Voices of Liberty now. detail I love of the German train set is the fact that they uh, put the flower and garden signs in the German square um, and uh, they they always seem to they don't disappoint by uh, adding the little details I just want to catch the train as it goes past but yeah they don't disappoint as they uh, add the little details and it makes it just that much more special this is the Schufferhofer grapefruit Hefeweizen and we're in Germany, as you can see. Uh, great view of Epcot, Spaceship Earth, out there in the distance. You can see the barges from a different angle. Right here in Germany, right by the Caramel Kucha. You enjoy a little bit of Pinot Grigio, Franz Keller. 
You ready? You enjoying your day so far? Yes. Definitely in Florida, because it's already melting. But here's the Dole Whip with coconut rum. We're both going to enjoy. Woohoo! Dole Whip! Yay, Dole Whip! But to be honest, I'm really excited. The all four barges are out on the water. And uh, that's a good thing, because that might mean the Harmonious might start up soon, which means we might be doing fireworks soon. Oh, I love it. This is from right by the Port of Entry store. I'm right behind it, taking a look at this. I'm hoping you can hear me, because I know it's really, really windy. But um, a lot of people are calling these an eyesore. I have to be honest, I think they're cool looking. Um, they don't really bother me that much. And uh, I really like, I, I really like the, 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 the look of them. There's big screens, and you also have to remember that these are gonna be giant fountains. So, uh, when the fountains are going, it won't be so, like, uh, uh, structural. But I do appreciate these barges, the fact that they're all in. The four barges plus the center one. Uh, that's, that's, that's really cool. That means that Harmonious might be coming soon. Let's, uh, let's cross our fingers, all right? One of my favorite things at the Flower and Garden Festival are these flower beds that they put up. Um, they're just gorgeous. All those annual flowers, specific colors, making such great patterns. Just gorgeous, love it. My absolute favorite characters, if you haven't figured it out yet, are Chip and Dale. And you can always tell them apart. Chip's nose has a little chip, and Dale's is red, and he also has the split teeth. You see that, he's also got the split teeth. So that's how you can tell them apart. Chip nose, red nose is Dale, and uh, their buddy Pluto, and these are awesome topiaries. Fisher Birth, one of my favorite rides. Wait time said 15 minutes, so we'll see. It's, the line's moving pretty quick. I'm pretty sure they just did a cleaning cycle because it was not moving and then all of a sudden it was a lot. So we'll see what happens, but 15 minutes, Spaceship Earth. So you're going to Spaceship Earth. One of my favorite things is this mural right here. Um, I just love it. I, have, I use this as my phone background. If you want it, let me know. I'll put the picture up. It's a picture I took. And we're heading in to Spaceship Earth. We are outside the park for a little bit because Michelle and I have a leg leave a legacy tile and we want to see its new placement. And uh, we're looking it up and we're 086 1912. 086 1912. So we're down here. Nope, that's 085. 086 1912. Oh, there we are. There we are. Uh huh. See us? Uh huh. That's hot. <laughs> so, yeah. We have a Live a Legacy tile from when we got engaged in 2002. And uh, that's, our, that's us on that tile. Pretty cool, right? It's nice that they kept it up, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad. We're on a yellow tile. Michelle was hoping for purple, but we're on a yellow one. But uh, yeah, we're on the outside of, uh, hey, 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 hey again. Um, we're on the outside of uh, the Epcot Spaceship Earth. Um, it's to the right once you come out the main gates. And uh, yeah, we're really, we really like that tile. <laughs> and uh, we're really glad that we have it. All right, so uh, yeah, that's cool. Zero, uh, 086, 19, spot 12. One of the pavilions that I really like is the Germany Pavilion. I'm in line uh, for the jumbo pretzel and beer. I'm gonna get the uh, Schifferhofer uh, grapefruit beer, but uh, I love the Germany Pavilion. Uh, I also speak German and my family is of German descent, so I do have a little bit of a bias towards it, but I actually really love the design on this particular pavilion and uh, the the Oktoberfest is back there, and Summerfest when it's operating is over to the right, and this week at the Nudo Graton, and I, I love the Oktoberfest. I recommend doing that at some point in time. I put it in that Epcot video, it's gonna pop in right now. And uh, yeah, the 
German Pavilion just really, really nice. And right now the line for the beer is actually really, really short. So I hopped in and I'm going to get one. Having a great day today. In order to make sure we have the best day ever, there's only one place we need to make sure that we go. Where do you need to go to make it the best day ever? You need to get a margarita. At? Cava. Uh-huh. La Cava del Tequila. The best place to get a margarita in all of Disney World. And he agrees. <laughs> that is the that is the avocado margarita. And that is La Ca Classico Tequila that we're going to that we got in shop form. And that is the top shelf, which is Michelle's choice. Now it is the best day ever. Right? One of the things I love about the Mexico Pavilion is the San Angel Inn. Michelle and I used to eat here all the time. Um, it's such a lovely restaurant overlooking the free Caballeros ride. And uh, I love, uh, the, we used to love the food there a lot. Um, it changed a little bit. We haven't tried it in a number of years. We might have to come back sometime in the near future. This is so disappointing. Oh, what is this? Those are cardboard cutouts. I, I, I hope they're back soon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yikes. This is the three caballeros. This is this I would rather even have this on the ride. These are so much better. They were working on these earlier today. They look really good. As the best day ever continues, I want to point out that we missed that. Being in the Mexico pavilion and we didn't get rained on. It was the only rain that came in today, making it the best day ever. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're outside at Disney Traders. We actually had a run inside real quick. Um, so I didn't actually film my food once I got it. I got the Taco Vampiro from the Mexico food booth for the Flower and Garden Festival. And we also got the Pork Conchito. Um, they were both excellent. Um, I liked them. I definitely liked the, vamp the Taco Vampiro better. Um, it had some of this corn with it that was just nice and spicy. And um, yeah, definitely liked it a little bit better. But the... Um, the pork, the, the pork conchito was uh, was also excellent. had a had a black bean base to it, and uh, really nice uh, marinated pork. So one thing is, this is the Tulum Mexican beer uh, with an elderflower floater, and um, I got to tell you, I don't usually do floaters uh, on my beer, and because um, I'm a beer snob, and you'll learn that as you stick with the channel longer. Um, by the way, the uh, Schiffenhofer grapefruit was my favorite beer of the day. I did have a number of uh, good beers from all around the world, but the, the grapefruit was my favorite. But this elderflower from Tulum the with the elderflower floater, this is excellent. Um, and it's a great like finishing beer to the dinner. Uh, it's, it's sweet, um, which I don't normally go for, but as like a, it's kind of like a dessert beer. And I like it. It's kind of like getting like a dessert wine or an ice wine. So, yeah, I like it. It's very good. Cheers to uh, Yardin de Fiestas. So, we just left Mouse Gear for the second time tonight. And uh, we're on our way uh, out to the pickup area where our friend is picking us up. So, Michelle, this was your birthday trip, and we're on our way out the door. And uh, for those of you who don't know, we are literally about to get onto a plane to fly back to Philadelphia. <laughs> After flying here this morning, um, I don't want to go. I don't want to go either. But we're back in June, <laughs> yeah. so don't you six, don't you fret, Carousel of Douglas followers. We will be back 66 days. Um, I'm going to do my best to create some great content before then. But uh, um, Michelle, was today your best birthday ever? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home either, but we have to. Um, so uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna sign off once we get home, but uh, we're walking our way out of, uh, out of Epcot. We've actually had great uh, day today, good weather until now, yes. where the wind suddenly picked up and the skies got gray, but we haven't been rained on. So that's a good thing. A lot of loot. And we bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> and now we have to figure out how to get it home. All right. We're make it happen. Uh, we'll check in again once we get home. Uh, See you for now. 
And so what did you just say to me? Uh, I don't want to go home either. But we are on the plane, and we're going to be heading back to Philadelphia shortly on Spirit Airlines. And uh, we'll, we'll close it up once we get to the house. We had, was it? Best day ever. Love it. Well, there you have it, folks. We made it. It is 12.41 in the morning. We were able to go to Disney World in one day. Our cats are hungry. Um, if you enjoy our little whirlwind trip to Epcot, um, leave a comment down below. We'd love it. Subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. It was a lot of fun doing that. It was an adventure. And uh, we'd also love it if you just hit the thumbs up icon or the bell icon to be notified that you're getting our videos. All right? I'm tired. Michelle's tired. Hey, Michelle, what was it again? Best day ever.